Hello. Today we will be solving this problem called the bit strings. So our task is to calculate the number of bit strings of length n. For example, if n is equal to 3, the correct answer is 8 because the possible bit strings are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and so on. So we will be given a, a number n up to a million and we need to find the answer modulo 10 to the 9th plus 7. So basically what they mean by this, any time the answer goes above uh, a billion and 7, we just take away a billion and 7 from it. So for example, if this was 10 and the answer was 12, we would have to output 2 because taking away 10 from 12 would leave us with 2. So we need to find the answer mod a billion and 7. So basically, this is our problem. Let's uh, see an example. If n is equal to 4, we would have 4 bits and each of these bits can be either 0 or 1 0 or 1 0 or 1 0 or 1 so basically we have two options for each bit and the total and all these bits are independent so the value at this bit does not affect the value at any bit, other bit so in order to find all possibilities we just have to multiply this and the final answer would be 2 raised to the nth power so this is pretty much it we will have to calculate 2 to the nth power and this could be done in a number of ways something that may come to mind is to use the pow function Using pow or pow l is a bad idea. Not only are these functions kind of slow, these are slow and inaccurate. These are designed to calculate the power with a certain precision, but not nothing more. They are they were designed to calculate the power using floats and bubbles, not integers and modular arithmetic. The second option is to calculate the power linearly. And this would be enough in our problem. What I mean by linearly, so we would start we declare a variable equal to n inside the loop and each time we multiply it by 2. So this would go 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on. And this is fine in our problem. But what if... What if n was up to 10 to the 9th? Then in order to solve 2 to the billionth, this would require all of 10 to the 9th, which would run in approximately 100 seconds which would be too slow for our problem. This is why there is an optimal way to calculate in uh, exponents and exponentiation in general. This is called binary exponentiation. And basically the idea behind this concept is the following. Say we want to calculate 2 to the 80th. Instead of doing this, we could, if we knew what was 2 to the 40th, we would just go ahead and multiply it by itself. So this would be 2 to the 40th times itself because a to the bth power times a to the cth power is equal to a to the b plus c power. So when we multiply this, it would give us this. And instead of calculating 2 to the 2 to the 40, we would just need to calculate 2 to the 20 times 2 to the 20. And we could recurse in this fashion. So this would need 10, 2 to the 10, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th. Here, if you notice, this is odd 
so we would calculate 2 to the second times 2 to the second times 2 so we would require 3 operations here and for this we would need 2 to the first and this is pretty much it so the values we needed to calculate were these this one, this one, this one, this one, this one this one and this one and moving from each one to the next one consists in dividing by 2 dividing by 2 so if we start at n the numbers of steps required is log n because every time we divide by 2 so basically the number of steps is equal to the smallest power s such that n is less than or equal to 2 to the s this is what it means for it to be of complexity log n we will dedicate a separate episode for binary exponentiation and for this problem we will limit ourselves to the linear solution so let's go ahead and code it so let's go ahead and code our solution bit strings let's declare n as a long long let's really let our answer be equal to 1 and for each iteration we would multiply it by 2 so for in i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus s times 2 and s module mod which is our prime module and let's define int turn to the ninth plus seven and at the end we we'll just print the answer so for three the answer should be a works so let's submit works thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye